What's up, Milkshake Mafia? It's your boy Mino reporting to you semi live here on the Minority vs. Predator channel here on the good old Tubi U. Today's individual, we actually started speaking sometime back in February out of state. This conversation happened well before I became a somebody. Um, this one is going to be an oldie but goodie because I was in my proverbial bag with this one with the trolling of this individual. So basically all I can recall is I made this individual write me an essay. I actually have a very special guest here who is going to read the essay and critique it and grade it for you guys because <laughs> why the fuck not? No, I didn't read it but I do remember copying and pasting the essay in a word counter to make sure he met the total word threshold. <laughs> I think it's like 300 words or some shit like that. I, I don't remember, but we'll get into that once we get to that portion of the chat log. So let's just hop right into it. So this individual's name is Tim. His scout profile says he's 56 and is from Newport News, Virginia. Timothy messages me. I am sorry if you're having a tough time. If you need to talk, I will listen. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, this was the time where I was experimenting with my decoy personalities. I wanted to run the whole depression thing uh, to see how these guys would, you know, prey on that certain weakness on a minor. So, yeah, there's that. Then I simply respond, thank you. How are you doing today? I said, I'm doing okay. Real quick, just so you know, I'm actually 14. Not here to start any trouble, just looking to cope with things in my life. Then he says, I understand that. I'm here to talk and listen. I said, okay, cool, I appreciate that. Especially since I don't have any friends my age. I'm actually sitting alone at lunch right now. Yeah, this was before the whole quarantine thing. Huh, clearly. He says, I don't work till four today, so I'm watching TV. I have some friends, but I can always use more. I said, what are you watching? And I could use a friend for sure, lol. He says, I'm watching the news. Nothing exciting. Okay. Can I ask you something? I said, yeah, sure. He says, are you 18? If not, it's okay. Lol. I already told you I was 14. Active reading and listening really isn't their strong suit. Then he says, if you did, I missed it. Sorry. Sometimes I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you in the second message I sent to you. I believe you. The screen on this phone is lame and I miss stuff. That's why I prefer over the phone. I said, okay, well, yeah, I'm a freshman in high school. He says, okay, that's tough enough on top of everything else you're dealing with. I said, yeah, it's a really tough time. He says, I wish I was closer. I would take you for burgers and a milkshake. You know what? <laughs> And <laughs> oh my god, I love, love, love chocolate milkshakes. I haven't had one in so long. <laughs> Same here, and not no McDonald's crap. I said, no, not those. I like Shake Shack the most. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I've never actually had Shake Shack. He says, we have a good few places here also. Would you like my number? And that's when we proceed to exchange numbers. Let's go over to the text messages. Holy shit, wow. All right, so he texts me, hi, it's Tim. I said, hey, he says, so you trust me, smiley face? You haven't given me no reason to not trust you, at least not yet. Okay, just checking, he says. Just no NSFW stuff. What's NSFW? He says, not suitable for work. I still don't get it. I was playing stupid, clearly. Basically porn, he says. I have people try and run a scam on me, but I trust you. I said, oh, lettuce, mayo, and onions? Yeah, no, I'm not here for all that. I never even watched porn myself before. <laughs> he says, good for you, but I will say I love your eyes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Tim. He says, you're welcome, Alexi. Oh, and I would travel just to get you that burger and shit. And if you're really good, fries too. Lettuce, mayo, and onions. If I'm really good, that's funny. I make terrible dad jokes. I can't help myself, he says. I said, yeah, huh, clearly. Then he says, you know, clean your room and get good grades. And then he sends me a selfie of this really scared looking dog. And <laughs> maybe he knows that there's some wrong vibes with this individual. Anyway, he says, me right now. Then I said, well, I'm an okay student for the most part. I'm allergic to dogs, lol. He says, you sound like me on both, but I'm allergic to everything. I say, ha, yes, yeah, sucks because I like dogs a lot. He says, get a poodle. They're better for allergies. Do you have any siblings? No, I'm an only child. You really are alone, but I'm here for you, he says. I said, thank you. I tried, but you seem to be a sweetie. This may sound bad, but I keep looking at those pretty eyes of yours. I said, oh, really, thank you. When we get that burger, I may stare. So, um, sorry, LOL. Then I sent him a selfie. I said, it's all good. He says, sweetheart, I like that picture on many different levels. I said, do you really? He says, yeah, I'm bad, I know. And then I asked him, what do you like about it? He says, well, your eyes and the top you're wearing is nice. I said, thanks. It's one of my favorites. He says, no problem. He says, my problem is I have been single for too long. If you have any more pics like that, 
I may forget myself, lol. I said, well, I've been single since I was born. What would you forget? He says, are the boys at your school blind? I may forget I am a gentleman and a flirt. I said, lol, we have one blind kid, but he's a junior, I think. He says, lol, lol, are you still in school? He says, no, I'm doing homework. Good girl, you must want those fries, lol. I'm about to leave for work. If you text, I will answer on my break. I said, okay, and I'm a very good girl. I see, then maybe you'll get a present. Lol, I like presents. He says, and I like pictures. I asked him what kind. He said, but if I said what kind of pictures, you might think I'm strange. Test me. He says, legs and bare feet. See, lol. Oh, okay. He says, I'm on break. And of course, like the one you sent in regards to the kind of pictures he likes. I am off, yay. Oh, guess you're busy. Good morning. I said, good morning. How are you? How is school going? It's going all right. That's good. I can't seem to wake up. I didn't sleep well. I kept thinking about stuff. I asked him like what? He says, just like how it would be nice to have a girlfriend, stuff like that. I said, oh, okay. He says, yeah, but I'll be fine. I like talking with you. And that pic you sent, I want to cuddle with you. I said, well, that's very nice of you. And Tim says, it's true, but I thought I scared you off when I told you the pics I like. But I will love anything you sent, lol. I said I fell asleep early last night. That's why. It's okay, he says. Okay. Then he says, I am walking around the outlet mall. I said, I'm in English. He says, one of my worst subjects. What stores do you like? I said, I like Forever 21 the most. He says, I see. I was at the Williamsburg outlet and I don't think they have that, but it's a huge place. How was your anxiety doing? I said, it was bad this morning, but I'm okay now. He says, I'm glad it is better. When it gets bad, text me. I may not be able to do much, but I'm here. And then he says, so if I came to visit you, where would you want me to take you? I said, anywhere to get a milkshake. <laughs> this is where this is derived from. Fuck me. Don't, not literally though. LOL and a burger, then Forever 21. I said, sounds good to me. He says, then cuddle. Are you doing homework? No, I didn't have much homework. It's all done. He says, very good girl. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, I'm being silly. Can I be honest with you about something? I said, yeah, sure. He says, ever since you sent me that pic yesterday, I've been well turned on. I said, well, I appreciate your honesty for sure. And I am not sure if it's bad. I hope you don't hate me, but I want to be your friend, a true friend. I said, I personally don't hate you. You seem like a good guy. You do remember my age though, right? He says, yes, I do. I will behave. I said, okay, I have a bit of a bad memory, so I don't remember if I told you or not, LOL. He says, you did. I said, but you're cool though, Tim. What's the difference between a friend and a true friend? Then Tim says, good question. I just wouldn't want you thinking I was after one thing, but sometimes I get carried away. I said, it's all good with me. I trust you. Then Tim says, my life has been a mess the last few years, and it seems nowadays every female I talk to wants money from me, so I keep getting hurt. Then I said, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Tim says, thanks. But if you want to send more pics, please do. I will be okay. As long as you don't mind me telling you how pretty you are. I said, that's fine with me. Okay, and I still want that burger and a shake view. I said, where do you live again? He says, Williamsburg, Virginia. Okay, I've never been to Virginia. This is a huge tourist area. Colonial Williamsburg is pretty cool. And if I was ever to get you down here to visit, I would take you to Carytown Burgers and Fries for the the best burger ever. I said, okay, that sounds good to me, LOL. Kind of impossible for that to happen because of my age, but it does sound like fun to me. He says, well, if we stay friends for the long term, we can work it out eventually. When's your birthday? I said, okay, true, LOL, and it's December 21st. <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. Oh, I just missed it, a Christmas baby. Do you like seafood? See, food, ah, sorry. I said, yeah, you did, and I like seafood a lot. I'm heading out with my mom, so I'll text you whenever I can. He says, I wait eagerly. The next day, good morning, good morning. How are you? I said, good, you? He says, I'm good heading to a class. Class about what? He says, food handling, exciting stuff. And I had breakfast too. Okay, nice. So what do you do for work? I work in the kitchen in a huge seafood buffet. I need coffee after that class. Ha ha. And now I'm walking around and it's called poor me. Ha ha. No, from you, I see well girl stuff. And seeing as I really missed your birthday, what should I have gotten you? I said, I don't know. LOL, a gift card of Forever 21. I said, that's good enough. But what's the point in talking about hypothetical anyway lol he says why not and who said hypothetical what if I wanted to just because it's a hypothetical because you're talking about getting me a gift card for a birthday that already passed two months ago lol true I was just curious he says then I said therefore the shits hypothetical he says okay you win the point just saying lol remind me not to make you mad smiley face I said I wasn't mad period he says okay just checking can I ask for another picture I hate having to depend on other people for everything Ugh. <laughs> then I said to myself, he says, thanks, and you're beautiful. I said, yep. He says, what are you doing now? I said, laying it down. He says, same, with the dog, lol. Cool. I really would rather with a female human, though. I need to cuddle. Not that I'm hinting at you, I'm just saying. I said, oh, I bet. Just saying, lol, I know. I am too lonely, sorry. He says, I said, it's all good.
good. Okay, you're so understanding. I would cuddle with you if you let me. I said, is that all you would do? Well, I have your age to consider, he says. You have a lot of things to consider, Timothy. That's when I responded, you should have considered that at the cuddling idea, so there's that. Then he says, cuddling isn't bad though. Okay. Then he goes on to say, I cuddled one girl who said that's all that she wanted. I asked, how old was she? And then he says, then she was mad. I didn't make a move for more. She was 18. I am also not good at reading signals. I said, how long ago was that? He says, a few years. How long is a few, I asked him. He said, but if you didn't want to cuddle, I would understand. Like, two or three years. So he was what, 53 or 54 years old cuddling with an 18 year old girl? <laughs> okay. Why don't you cuddle with her anymore, I asked. He said she was mad I didn't try to have sex with her. It is hard to find someone to cuddle with most of them wanting a booty call. So you wouldn't want to have sex with me if you were to cuddle. He says, is that a trick question? Uh, no, it's a literal question. <laughs> He says, I think you're amazingly beautiful and I would probably be tempted, especially with those sexy pictures you send. Then Tim says, I didn't say that. What would you want? I said, at the end of the day, I'm a virgin, but I would at least want to lose this to someone who knows what they're doing. But you say you can't read signals, so I don't know. You seemed like an ideal person. Seemed. Seemed. Don't judge me. He says, oh, well, okay. Well, I read that signal loud and clear. Yes, then. Clearly, you didn't read it clearly. <laughs> he says, I thought I did unless I am no longer an option. I said, seemed as in past tense. He says, this conversation took me by surprise. I would be an ideal option. You know, I felt that at the first picture. I asked him, how'd you feel? He says, boy, the second one, I thought about kissing your belly button. Is that it? He says, honestly, it may be kind of horny. I wouldn't want to stop there, no. I said, what else? He said, I would want to pull off your top and kiss you all over. Go on. Then Tim says, kiss your lips, ears, breasts, nipples. Can I get another pick? No, you aren't worthy of my virginity, but I could tell you how you can become worthy if you'd like. <laughs> oh, here it goes. <laughs> I know it is. He says, sure, okay. I said, I like to feel special. Then he says, what if I start over? Say we meet about noon and we go for that burger. I said, you're a great guy, Tim, and I really like talking with you. <laughs> but if you want to be worthy to pop this cherry of mine, text me a 300 word essay as to why I should consider you again and what makes you worthy. I would love to read that. That would make my heart melt. He said, then maybe go for a walk somewhere, a mall, or <laughs> if the weather is a nice park, then I take you shopping and get something nice to go to dinner, then maybe a movie or if possible a play. I said, no, 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 wait, not like that. That that That's cheating. Okay, I see. I politely request you take your time. Put some thought into it. Just give me one long text so I know you spent the time to think about your words and put effort into it. I won't interrupt you. Just take your time and type it out for me. Thanks, Tim. Heart. Ladies and gentlemen, children of above the age of consent, making his return to the minority versus predator channel here on a good LTVU, <laughs> Professor Minnow. Thank you for that extremely awkward segue. Okay, class, yes, it's me, Professor Minnow. Sit down and shut the fuck up because class is in session. Now, in regards to Timothy's essay, there will be three. Oh, oh, okay, all right, drop the shit. Okay, all right, haven't had my margarita just yet. Just kidding, I don't. There are three, there will be three major factors that I'm gonna use for my grading criteria, okay? First one is gonna be grammar, okay? Gram -mer. Grammar. Grammar, okay? It's how you say shit, okay? Second is gonna be mechanics. Mechanics. Okay, and third, which is the most important criteria of this essay, trust me, I know I'm a scholar. Cringe. The cringe factor. How much does it make me want to perform a, a sodomy on myself, okay? There are my three major factors to this entire essay, so let's just hop right into the bullshit as I open. Mm. Let's go. This is pressure now. It would help if I knew better what to say around you. That is one reason why I want to know more about you so I could plan better. I really truly like you a lot and that kind of scares me because of your age. It would be tough because on one hand, I would want the world to see us. On the other hand, it could lead to trouble. I hope you understand. So I would love to have that hamburger and shake with you. To look in your eyes and hear your voice. <laughs> have you tell me your wants and dreams. I would love a long-term relationship with you. I would want to make you happy and help you any way I could and if at some point we 
end it, we end it with happy memories. <laughs> and even if it ended, I would want to still be part of your life. I know people have let you down and left you. I wouldn't do that. I want to be your friend. And if we decided to, your lover and whatever else. I am not perfect and I have made serious mistakes and may make more. Oh, you have no idea, Timothy. But you will get my heart as imperfect as it is. You are beautiful and sweet and you deserve the best. That's 222 words. I said 300. I don't want to just use you for one thing. I want all of you. Your heart, mind, soul. That makes 242. Are you even trying? I am sorry, my phone didn't like the long message, but I could fall for you. I am falling for you even as you put pressure on me. I want to show you I am worthy of your love, not by my words, but by my actions. To make you feel like the most cherished person on the planet. Yes, you have physical beauty, but I want to know all Oh God, I want to know all of your inner beauty and your scars, your hurts, your hopes, disappointments and passions to be there where others failed you. To be intimate with you to the point we are one. To have you know me better than anyone mean, and, and me know you the same. I also want to know every inch of your body, every curve, every bump. I want to be there for your highs, lows, triumphs, and heartbreaks. And he says I probably blew it. Well, even if I did fail, I would still want your friendship. All right. Uh, so there, there was that. <laughs> Number one, grammar sucks. Okay, it, it it sucks. It was fucking horrible. Okay, so you get a one out of ten on that one. Okay. Mechanics. Mechanics, I don't even know exactly what that even means because my eyeglasses are off, so I'm gonna give you a zero out of 10 plus. I personally know nothing about cars. I just learned about what a fucking dipstick was yesterday. But number three, cringe. <laughs> yeah, you get a 20 out of 10. You fucking pass, my guy. Congratulations! I'm pretty sure there's more to the chat logs, but I'm fucking done. Oh, Mafia. I hope you guys enjoyed this because I, I really did. This entire thing just kind of fell apart at the end here. But you know what? That's what makes these things so fun for me, at least. Even though at the end of the day, I'm just some random dude sitting down reading because I'm not all action packed. But if you guys are really here for some entertainment, do me a favor. If you really think these videos are boring because they don't entertain you, scroll down. Look in the description and see the, the, the video topic. It says education. See, I'll learn some shit. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. It's not like I went to fucking Stanford or anything. Anyway, leave a like, share, subscribe. No harassment, see if you find him. If you wanna go ahead Mr. and find Mr. Timothy somewhere in, in Virginia, have at it. I know y'all motherfuckers are weird and like scavenger huts and shit, so uh, yeah. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. I promise. Not me, professor, but the regular minnow. Sure, why not? <laughs> Toodles.